Blog Talk Radio. Calling all men. It's now your time for your show with your coach, the Men's Advocate Show with Linda Gross. Relax, be heard, and be understood. It's a show where men can be men. Now here's the coach who has your back, Linda Gross. Welcome, everybody, to another edition of the Men's Advocate Show with me, your host, Linda Gross. Today we are talking about Are You the Next Mr. Wrong? Mm -hmm. I am fired up to uh, talk to you about this topic. If you would like to join us, so easy to do. You can do so by calling in 323-642-1677. Again, that number is 323-642-1677. You can also go to blogtalkradio.com forward slash Linda. DT Linda Gross, that's blogtalkradio.com forward slash DT Linda Gross, short for dating tips. And go on our chat line. If you're too shy to talk on the phone, you can always uh, hit me up and send me a message. All right? Okay, so I'm going to be looking for you. So let's get this thing done. So today's show, we're talking about Are You the Next Mr. Wrong? Have you ever wondered why women keep falling for the wrong guys? Have you ever had the experience of her not being able to connect with you because of the last boyfriend broke her? Well, are you being penalized for what he did? Well, the good news is that once you're able to recognize the key reasons why she keeps choosing Mr. Wrong over Mr. Right, you'll be able to determine if she's a keeper or perhaps she's just not worth your time. All right, so what are some of the reasons that it, that are holding her back? Well, she has low self-esteem. So in many instances, women fall for the wrong men because these women are, are battling with low self-esteem. In fact, in a 2014 Glamour magazine poll, it revealed that over 50% of women are unhappy with their bodies and approximately 80% of women can't even look at themselves in the mirror without overwhelming feelings of disappointment and self-loathing. And with all these unfortunate statistics in mind, it's not surprising women can end up attracting men who don't treat them well, don't fulfill their needs, and don't provide them with love and the emotional support because these women think that they don't deserve any better. And because these women tend to only believe the worst about themselves, they mistakenly think They're not pretty enough, good enough, smart enough, or successful enough. They pick men who directly play into these insecurities. Oh, yes, they do. All right. So what is this type of woman to do? Well, you know, or I should say, what should you do with this type of woman? Well, to combat her feelings of self-doubt, Um, here's a couple things to try. Expose her to new and interesting activities that you both enjoy and have her let go of her incessant need to compare herself to others. Now, how do you do this? Well, tell her just how amazing she is to you. Another thing that goes on is she is afraid of being alone. I think part of being a woman is we have this fear because typically we are the ones who have to wait for the guy to to approach, wait for the guy's lead, right? 
So I don't think guys have this as much because they are the pursuers. Now, you guys might have the feeling of rejection, the fear of rejection, but I don't think you guys have, at least to the degree that women have it, fear of being alone. So along these lines, another reason women fall for the wrong guys is that these women are afraid of being themselves. In fact, Research has shown that many women are more willing to stay in unhappy, unfulfilling relationships because they're intimidated by the prospect of being alone. In other words, the idea of being on their own is so off-putting and so unnerving that many women would rather stay with men who are wrong for them simply because these women think that it's better than being alone. So how to solve this problem? Action. Her taking action on something that makes her feel powerful. When is she powerful? Uh, When she is powerful, self-doubt just falls by the wayside. Maybe she just landed that new job. Maybe she just graduated. Maybe she just bought that new car that she's been saving up for forever. Settling for less and not taking action is for losers and victims. So encourage her to take her dreams. All right, if you've just joined us, you're currently listening to the Men's Advocate Show with me, your host, Linda Gross. Today we are talking about, are you the next Mr. Wrong? Why does your woman keep choosing wrong men, and how did you become (laughs) get in the middle of all of this? That's what we're talking about. You can call in 323-642-1677. Again, that number is 323-642-1677. When we come back from the break, we're going to talk about uh, the women who are afraid of commitment. Yes, indeed. The Men's Advocate Show with Linda Gross. We will be discussing men's issues, dating, relationships, sex, women, fitness, health, business, men's hobbies, men's rights, and more. She will be talking about excerpts from her men's book, Mastering Women Too. Hi, guys. You've heard her on the Men's Advocate Show. Linda Gross wants you to know what turns a woman on and makes her go wild so she just can't help herself. Check out Linda's book, Mastering Women, Real Truth About Women That'll Change Your Life Forever. Linda gives you all the insider tips on how to catch a woman and, if you want, to keep her. In four easy steps, these proven techniques will make women just melt. Ever wonder why the girl you really liked seemed to be great when you met, and then all of a sudden just goes cold on you and turns you off? Linda will also let you know what not to do on a date. Never blow it again by losing another hot woman. You don't have to be good looking or even have money. Her book, Mastering Women, is available in paperback and ebook. Men, Linda's on your side. So buy her book, Mastering Women. Buy it for now. And don't keep your women waiting another minute. Get Mastering Women today. You've heard her on the Men's Advocate Show with Linda Gross. How can you help further? From her Facebook fan page of the same name. Hit the Shop Now button and save this link to your favorites. Make all your usual Amazon purchases and some of the revenue will support her show at no additional cost to you. No book purchase required. Just start with this link every time. The Men's Advocate Show with Linda Gross thanks you. Welcome back, everybody. You're currently listening to the Men's Advocate Show with me, your host, Linda Gross. Today we are talking about, are you the next Mr. Wrong? Why does your woman keep picking the wrong guys? (laughs) Why does she penalize you for her past relationships where she's picked the wrong guys? All right, so let's jump back into our topic. By the way, you can do so. Call in, join in. 323-642-1677, 323-642-1677, 323-642-1677, or you can hop on to our chat line. So easy to find, blogtalkradio.com forward slash DT Linda Gross, 
blogtalkradio.com forward slash DT Linda Gross. That's short for uh, dating tips. All right. So make that happen. I'm going to be looking for you. All right. So she's afraid of commitment. So when looking more closely at why women fall for the wrong man, well, another key reason is that many women have a fear of commitment. For instance, some women purposefully sabotage their relationships by pursuing men with whom there is no real possibility of a future. And they do so because this option eliminates the risk of getting hurt. There are women who fall for the wrong guys in order to fully avoid the responsibilities and vulnerabilities that are key components of a mature, committed relationship. How to deal? Well, when she does open up, notice it and tell her. What else is on the agenda? Well, she thinks she can change men. This is a common female practice. An additional reason why women fall for the wrong guys is that these women believe that they can change these men into the partner and person they want him to be. In other words, many women think they can alter things about a man, such as the way he dresses, how he behaves, what he eats, how he eats, his profession, his thoughts about marriage, his relationship with his family and or his smoking and drinking habits, to name a few. However, if she falls for a man whom she thinks is in need of fixing, meaning she's trying to change his behaviors and belief, it only means one thing. Ready for it? It means that she doesn't respect you. No man can stay with a woman who doesn't respect her man. So in this case, I would say it's time to bail. Um, more on this topic about what this means with respect, you need to pick up my book, Mastering Women. Don't be left out. Find out exactly you know, what she says and what it means, Mastering Women on Amazon, and get the real truth about women that will change your life forever. So this this. Uh, topic of respect falls under the category in my book called men's uh, core four. So the core drives are something that we all have. The two sexes have a different set of core of top four core drives. Are the top 20 similar? Yes, they are. But what's important to women is definitely different than what's important to men, hence two sets of core four drives. So my theory and my research has shown me that if one sex performs the core drives of what the other person needs, the other sex needs, you can win over that person anywhere, anytime. So you got to get the book, Mastering Women, The Real Truth About Women That Will Change Your Life Forever. All right, so what's next on the agenda? Her priorities are out of whack. So if you're wondering why she always falls for the wrong guys, an additional reason is that she may not be using the best criteria when it comes to choosing men for the long term, for long term committed relationships. For example, she may put greater emphasis on what a man looks like, how much money he makes, or what kind of car he drives over other types of important characteristics, such as his values, ethics, and beliefs. She is using the superficial rather than deeper reasons to be with you, which brings me to say she doesn't appreciate you. Appreciate, just like respect, is one of the men's core four. These are the must-haves for men to feel like they are loved. So you don't want this type of woman because not only does she not value what you bring to the table, she doesn't even know how to evaluate your attributes. She's operating from a very basic level, meaning that she's just a gold digger, basically. All right, so she doesn't pay attention to red flags. 
Now, she may be also falling for the wrong guys because she's not paying close enough attention to possible relationship red flags. For example, she may have chosen to ignore or overlook the fact that her previous boyfriend behaved in a rude, possessive, dishonest, and or jealous manner. Now, all of these t- types of disrespectful actions are clear indicators for any self-respecting woman to run. Want some more red flags? So did she ignore, for example, on her previous boyfriends, his incessant need to spend every mo- every waking moment with her? Did she ignore his insistence on moving the relationship at warp speed? How about his tendency to deflect blame for any wrongdoings? Um, Also, you know, did she ignore domestic violence? Did she make less of it? Did she uh, forgive him too quickly? Did she, you know, not get help? What's going on there with the domestic violence? No woman should even take one act of domestic violence. You should run for the hills no matter what the circumstances are and go to the nearest shelter, uh, family, or friends, right? I mean, that's what any decent woman would do. All right, what else is going on with her? Maybe she is programmed from childhood. So another reason for her falling for the wrong guy may actually be direct, directly tied to her upbringing. Research has shown that people tend to pick partners who, who share similar characteristics with the opposite sex parent. So when characteristics of her boyfriend or husband and father are highly negative and both can be described as, say, for example, short-tempered, ill-mannered or unreliable, it lowers her acceptance level to an unhealthy point. Even more telling, many women also unconsciously seek out men who share negative traits with a parent as a way to attempt to right a wrong that these women face during their youth. For example, if she grew up with a father who was totally aloof, there's an increased likelihood that she'll pursue men who are also aloof in the hopes of changing this behavior as a way to rectify her treatment during childhood. And while it's unfortunate, another reason these women fall for the wrong guys who share negative traits with a parent is because these kinds of behaviors are familiar because they are used to them. From a young age, they rationalize and normalize the detrimental behaviors that these detrimental behaviors are okay. All right, what else? Well, how about she has a relationship pattern that really is hard to shake. Now, she may have a consistent relationship pattern that draws her towards men who aren't right. Do her past boyfriends seem to share similar negative qualities? Are they narcissists, unwilling to commit, or maybe they treated her poorly? Again, it might be what she's used to. If she's constantly okay with being used or abused, it's a tough pattern to break. How about she's a drama queen? Another reason why women consistently fall for the wrong guys is that these women love the attention that the relationship drama can bring. Oddly, simple, normal, peaceful relationships may seem boring to these women. Maybe in the past they were ignored or dismissed. So she resorts to overreacting, exaggerating, and complicating matters to bring the attention that they crave. While this may benefit her compulsion, it does nothing to help you or your relationship. She has to tame that beast on her own. Perhaps she has a syndrome where she hasn't yet met the one, the famous one. Another reason women keep falling for the wrong guys is that they simply haven't met the right person. For instance, 
perhaps she's not truly pr- putting herself out there. Does she just stay at home waiting for the guy to drop from the sky? Maybe she hasn't made dating a priority. Maybe she feels a bit discouraged because of all the duds she's dated so far. It could be that she's just not in the right mindset to be with the right guy or that she is all that and she hasn't yet met the right one. How about the girl who needs to say goodbye to Mr. Wrong? So it's clear that there are many reasons why women fall for the wrong men, including self-esteem issues, misplaced priorities, a disregard for red flags, as well as a need for relationship drama. So unfortunately, once you fully understand the underlying causes behind her misplaced attention and affection toward these unworthy and undeserving men, you can decide if she's just too far out there or if she's just a great girl that hasn't yet had the right break. I want to thank everybody for joining me today. If you've just tuned in, you're listening to the Men's Advocate Show with me, your host, Linda Gross. Uh, You can join us right here on Blog Talk Radio, and my handle is forward slash DT Linda Gross. That's DT Linda Gross, short for dating tips. And I hope you will join us uh, here each and every Tuesday. 3 p.m. Pacific Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Time is when you can dial in or uh, talk on the chat line. You can uh, also, if you've missed our show live, you can check them out in the archives. Lots Lots of ways to do that. You can go on Blog Talk Radio, and they are there. And also, uh, we are on SoundCloud and TuneIn. How do you find them, you ask? Well, so easy just go to just go to google all the names are the same title it's the men's advocate show with linda gross the men's advocate show with linda gross and all of these links should pop up for you so i'd like you if you enjoyed the show i'd love for you to show your love many ways that you can do so listen call subscribe chat like our fan page follow comment share tell a friend Start with my Amazon link, download my app, and buy my book on Amazon. That Amazon book is, again, Mastering Women, The Real Truth About Women That Will Change Your Life Forever. And by the way, if you have a related um, company or product or service that you want to promote, and, you know, I have a male-based audience, So if you want to do some promotion with me, you can advertise on this show and I will mention uh, your name or service uh, on our show and also put you on all my social media links. So easy to do. How do you find me? Well, you can hit me up on the chat line right here at Blog Talk Radio. You can go to Facebook and uh, private message me. Again, same name as the show, The Men's Advocate Show with Linda Gross. Um, and you can go to our IG account and uh, pr- and uh, DM me there. My IG is Linda Gross Speaks, Linda Gross Speaks. And, of course, you can always leave comments if you want to do so publicly, um, both on Facebook and IG. Um, all right. So that wraps up, wraps up our show today. Advertise with me. It's, it's a very nominal cost. Get your word out there. And I would love to see you do that. All right. So call me at, call me again and, and uh, listen to our show for next week. That's blogtalkradio.com forward slash DT Linda Gross, DT Linda Gross. All right. We'll see you next time, Tuesday, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern time, right here on Blog Talk Radio. Bye for now.